If you know how it works, then you know how to fix it. This week, we take a look at changing the diesel filters on our diesel engine. Like most of the Volvo series of engines, they're all basically the same. The peripherals anyway. Enjoy the video. We've based this video on our D130 Volvo Penta, but the 120, the D250 and the D255 are basically the same engine. They use the same filters and the same ancillaries. The same principles on filter changes apply to Yanmars and other marine diesels. Let's have a look at the components in a basic system. Firstly, there's the fuel tank. Then there's the primary filter, and that will look something like this, although it could look like this, the Raycor type. Then, after the primary filter, is the lift pump, or pump. Then, the secondary filter, and that takes a cartridge, very similar to your oil filter, so don't get them mixed up. Then there's the injector pump, and then the injectors. The fuel system is divided into two parts, those that are under negative pressure in the red zone and those that are under positive pressure in the green zone. In the red zone, the fuel is being sucked into the pump. In the green zone, the fuel is under pressure from the pump. It's important to remember that the areas arrowed here, the injector pump, the injector lines and injectors, are under extremely high pressure. In fact, the pressure is so high, it can pass right through human skin. In our system, we have an additional disposable fuel filter. There is also a fuel tap or fuel cutoff in most diesel systems to enable you to shut the fuel off from the engine. Our additional disposable filter is in the line above the fuel tank, next to the shut-off valve. And these are the two filters that we're going to fit today. The primary filter works like this. Fuel comes into the filter, any sediment or moisture are left in the bottom of the bowl. The fuel then passes up through the filter and comes out through the top of the filter housing. Raycor filters do roughly the same job, but they tend to be more efficient and, of course, a lot more expensive. Here's how they work. Unfiltered fuel enters the filter and travels straight down past the backflow check ball valve into the turbine assembly. Fuel exits the turbine assembly in a spinning motion, creating a centrifuge effect. Heavier particles and water droplets are separated from the fuel and fall into the collection bowl. Fuel rises to fill the upper chamber of the filter and surround the outside of the element. Fuel passes through the element as contaminants and water are filtered out. Water droplets form on the element's surface, coalesce and fall into the collection bowl for later removal. Filtered fuel enters the main fuel tube and travels straight down the filter and out to the fuel pump. Contaminants not trapped in the element media and separated water gather in the collection bowl at the bottom of the filter. A drain valve at the bottom of the bowl can be opened to allow their removal. This fuel is still being drawn through the fuel pump and up to the secondary filter. The fuel pump works from a cam located inside the engine. This cam pushes a lever arm on a spring and the diaphragm is activated by this arm. The diaphragm acts like a set of bellows through an inlet and exit valve, pumping the fuel towards the injector pump. The fuel then passes through a secondary filter and primer pump. The secondary filter 
comprises of a cartridge filter, a filter body, a pump button with a bellows pump behind it, and of course a bleed screw. It's important to remember at this point that the fuel is being pumped via the mechanical pump driven from the engine. The fuel reaches the injector pump where the injector pump is timed to deliver the diesel to the injectors at very high pressure. Some of the fuel delivered to the injectors is routed through a return pipe and then goes back to the tank. This allows the injectors to be lubricated using the diesel. But a byproduct of this process is that your fuel is polished as it goes around the system. And this is how the system basically works. Now you know how the system works, you'll know how to fix it. Okay, well we're back in the engine bay and today we are going to change our diesel filters. Now the period that uh, is suggested in the handbook is not the period of change that we use. The diesel filters on this engine were last changed in August of August of 2020. Sorry, the filters on this engine were last changed in June 2020. So uh, it's about time they were done. We have no issues. We've bled out the uh, primary filter, and of course we run that little um, inline filter in our hose. I'll show you that a bit later on. But yeah, we've got two to change. So there's um, this one, which is down here. That's the main filter, that's hidden in there. And then the secondary filter, which is that one there, with the pump on top. Let's see if we can zoom in on that for you. That one there. I'm going to do both of those now. What I'll do is I'll get the GoPro in there, do some close-ups for you, show you uh, what it is we're going to do, but I don't know if you can see the fuel cutoff switch which is in the aft cabin. Um, what I'm actually going to do is it's that one there. I'm going to shut that off first, and that stops any of the diesel flowing back into the tank from the pipework. Um, otherwise, I would have to pump all of that pipework or fill all of that pipework before I fill the filters. So the first job is to turn that off and then get the first primary filter off. So this is our disposable filter which is on top of the diesel tank and here's the shut off valve. Okay so we'll turn our diesel tap off and then place our little bucket underneath that filter and I've got a feeling that this is 11 mil it's an odd size yeah it's an odd size I don't know what 11 mil is in Imperial it's, that bolt comes out of there and the bowl has dropped down I'll drop that in there and the lovely smell of warm diesel in the morning greets us. And off that comes. Okay, let's take this out. And we'll have a look at the filter, see what it's like. So this is the main filter. You can see it's pretty damn clear in there. Um, in fact, it's incredibly clear. So there is the date that it was on, 24th of November it was 2020. I thought it was June or August and it was actually 24th of November. So let's uh, put that on a rag. And then we have a look down inside. And that's the filter bowl. I'll just empty that into our bucket and you can see what was in the 
what was in the filter bowl is in there a couple of little bits nothing major in fact nothing at all I think the bucket was more dirty before <laughs> you started actually yeah <laughs> so let me just get a piece of um, how's your father to uh, just wipe around the inside of this and that's what was in the inside I think that's just I mean they're nano particles nothing but we do drain this fairly regularly so uh, here's our new filter and we wrap our filters in a bit of cling film if they don't come sealed and there are that's the part number now this is a third party filter because Volvo's version of this is about £16 so that's about $18 and these were £4 I believe now there's four o-rings in there two for this filter and then two more one goes up the top here and one goes on there I'll show you where they go in a minute so this filter is going to fit on there so we want the o-ring that fits in there like that on first which is that one and then I will put our tape number on there and today's date is we turn this on so I will now put the date on there 29 space 03 space 23 and print so so handy these things we date all of our filters as well as putting them in the service log we put one of these on here like that 290323 and then the other o-ring will go on the top in the top of the filter and I'll show you where these two go as well at the same time I just need to uh, well I can show you on the bolt where that one goes in the diesel so underneath the bolt and this bolt goes down through the head it's the one you just saw me undo with the 11 mil spanner sorry wrench 11 mil wrench has this o-ring go on the top like that just let a little bit of that diesel off my fingers go on there so that when I do that up I don't tear it and then this one actually sits in there and it sits in there on the un from the underside of this filter housing the top housing so we'll change that as I put this one back in um, I'm not going to put this diesel back in there and fill the diesel filter up a because this is now dirty contaminated diesel and I need to dispose of it in the right way but um, B because our engine uh, if you prime it in the right way uh, primes extremely quickly so let's show you where this other o-ring goes and uh, where this other o-ring goes so the two other o-rings the first one is up on the underside of here I'll just hook that out there we go so that's the old one I'll just put that on there and I'm using a, a dental pick so if you haven't got the proper the proper tool a dental pick is ideal 
and then on the underside of this bolt hole there is another o-ring it's a bit difficult to see it to dig it out without being able to see it there it comes there it is so that sort of hangs on a, a like at the bottom of the housing there's like a nipple shape with a with a with a cut out in it which is machined out and i can now just pull that easily and effortlessly over there don't worry if you can't see this because I'm going to put the diagram up on the screen with my famous uh, polka dot arrows so that you can see exactly how it works and there's our new filter I'm going to push that up onto the bottom there try and align the date in our direction uh, come on Mr Pipe wants to be in the way once that's in position the bolt goes in pulls that up against the gasket And then we just tighten that up. Not a lot of room in here, is there? <laughs> Not for both of us. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to pinch that up really tight. Just a couple of a couple of pounds, just make sure it's okay. And the other thing I've done is on the bottom, the drain plug um, is now facing forward as well. So that drain plug is over here, and our date is over here, and we can see them fairly easily. There we go. We can see them fairly easily. So now we turn the diesel fuel back on, and we give this a few pumps. will fill that filter now all I need to do now and yes I haven't changed this second filter yet all I need to do now is to start that up and that primary filter will fill itself before all the fuel from this one is used up so I don't need to bleed that filter so I will now go and start the engine let it tick over for a minute or two which will fill primary filter um, and now I've just pulled that that pump a little bit there's a bit in there anyway but that will fill that filter up with clean clean fuel and um, of course by turning this off when I'm not uh, turning this off before I do the job what happens is that the fuel stays in the line here it doesn't dis all disappear back into the tank. There we go. There shouldn't be a big diesel spill because we see that's full up. There we go. That's that one. Now I'll just put this down here for a minute and that's as clean as a whistle but then I'll expect Stand that. Stand it in there <laughs> so it don't fall over. Um, I'd expect that to be clean as a whistle because the primary filter's as clean as a whistle. Now there's our new one. I'm just going to put some diesel around that o-ring. And that stops the o-ring from binding up 
on there. Okay. And that goes just finger tight again. Yep. Now, what we have to do is, this time we will have to prime that. Um, and that's because this is higher than the other pump and higher than the tank. So I've now got to pull the fluid, the diesel out of this one here that we've just changed up into this one. So I need my 10 mil spanner, my trusty 10 mil spanner, wherever that is, and just loosen that there. So you see, yeah. That screen on the on the GoPro isn't that good. So that's the that's the bleed nut. We just undo that a little bit and give this a few pumps until you see this is now getting hard to pump. And any moment now you will see this diesel coming out. That's diesel really coming cool. out, yeah. yeah. A bit more. There we go. That's it. And again, just nip that tight piece of rag there. There we go. Okay, that's it. And now all we have to do is to take these out, start the engine. Go. So Cindy's outside, just turning the ignition on. I put the torch up here. And there we go. Okay, put some revs on, love. And now we just uh, check. Hello folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah, it's a while since we've done a, a diesel a filter change and uh, to be honest, looks like we didn't need to do one anyway because uh, we do keep our diesel very clean. And I think the key to it is um, not to uh, get water in the tank. So two ways, <laughs> make sure that your tank is full over the winter so that you don't get condensation inside the tank. Um, and the second one is Go out there now and check your <laughs> filler cap on your diesel tank. Um, whether that's outside uh, of the cockpit or whether it's inside the cockpit, as some of them are on some older boats, our westerly was like that, make sure that the O-ring is sealing properly to the um, diesel tank filler neck and, of course, that your um, breather hose is, uh, is not allowing water in because that's another place it can go. Once again, thank you to our Patreons. Yeah, thanks guys. Makes a difference, as we keep saying. <laughs> if you're not a Patreon, you've enjoyed the videos and you want to get more info and um, more videos and uh, be in contact with us, um, go here, with, along there, look, along the bottom there, um, patreon.com and uh, consider being a Patreon. We are, as we've grown the channel we're getting lots and lots of requests now um, via Facebook and messenger and email and the and the website uh, which we don't mind but we just we can't 
do your boat for you at arm's length or a thousand miles away guys so um uh, you know we we'll try and answer all the questions we can but uh it, patreons get priority <laughs> exactly yeah. patreons get priority um don't forget our web shop yes yeah, you, you've been shop. you've been working on the web shop this week haven't you um yeah so go to our website www.svmpavidus.com and then click the button that says shop and have a browse there's some good <laughs> stuff on there and everything that's on there has either been tested by us or we've had it um and we think it's uh, good value um, if it's not on there, it's because we A, haven't tested it, or B, we think it's rubbish. There you go. That answers your questions, doesn't it? All right. I suppose we better go and uh, do some sunbathing or something now. It's so hot here. <laughs> Don't forget, like, subscribe, share. And share. Yeah. And tell a friend. <laughs> That's it. And ding the bell. Ding the bell. Yeah, oh, ding the bell. Definitely ding the bell. <laughs> And check out our Patreon page. Exactly. See you later, folks. Bye-bye. Sell safe. Bye. <laughs>